Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland listening to all of this. Ms. Evans. Ms. Evans. <coughs> Ms. Evans, over here. Loud and clear now. I want you to really be heard. So I'm listening to the two people to your left, and my God, I'm worried. It sounds like DC's a mess. It sounds like everything's broken. It sounds like people are cheating. They don't know where to go. They don't know how to vote. They don't know who to vote for. And it's all your fault. And DC's doing a terrible job that has discredited elections and really eroded confidence, especially that word confidence. Is that your view? It is not, I um, suggest. Loud and clear, Ms. Evans. Is it, that, did he accurately describe DC's voting situation? The processes in the DC um, elections, not accurately. Not described. accurate. How about like not accurate at all? Or should I be worried? I live in Fairfax right across the river where Mr. Cuccinelli used to live. And by the way, I'm delighted to hear a former Trump a, a member, Trump administration member, expressed concern about Russian interference in election. Uh, I think that's really a good thing. We, we've been saying that since 2016. Uh, so, confidence or not? Confidence. Should I be confident? Confidence, several measures and safeguards in place to ensure confidence. Miss, uh, is it Weiser? Weiser. Weiser, excuse me, Miss Weiser. Um, do you know when the Constitution was adopted? Yes, um, 1787. 1787, very good. Uh, well, actually, it was written in 1787. Yes, it was adopted in the next year. Yes. And uh, Mr. Cuccinelli cited Article 1 about the powers of Congress over the, uh, the Capitol. What was the Capitol in the Constitution in 1787 or 1788? Do you know? Um, I believe there was no capital in the Constitution. There was no capital. They hadn't yet decided where the capital was going to be. Is that correct? That is my understanding. And do you know when the capital, when we finally did decide there'd be a capital and where it would be? Um, I believe in it was in 1801. Well, 1790, but 1802, we established like a local government procedure. Yeah. And, and, the, and the primary author and driver of the Constitution, James Madison, of our home state of Virginia, he wrote in the Federalist Paper one year after he wrote the Constitution, and I quote, Federalist Paper number 43, that the, that the federal district would have a municipal legislature for local purposes derived from their own suffrages. What do you think he meant by that? I believe he was um, expressing the same values of local self-determination that we've been talking about today and that the residents of DC have been asking for. What percentage, you're with the Brennan Center, what percentage of Americans do not vote in the presidential election? Um, what percentage? Do, do not, not vote in the presidential Trump? election. Well, um, the, uh, all Americans are entitled to vote in a presidential election. Not my question. Election. How many do not vote? About 40%. But, uh, right? What percentage of Americans commit voter fraud every year? Um, a, a, it is an infinitesimally small right. percentage. So if I say to you, I got a problem that affects 40% of Americans, and I got another problem that affects almost no Americans, where would you put your investment? I would certainly put my investment right. in ensuring but Ms., free and But fair the, the two gentlemen to the left of Ms. Evans, and many of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle want to somehow persuade us. The real problem is that infinitesimally small, almost non-existent fraud problem. And that's why we've got to restore confidence. We've got to restore integrity, which the bigger problem is suppression of voting, barriers to voting. Why not make it easier so 100% of Americans participate in their presidential elections uh, and not only 60%? But of course, that's not what they want. And they're doing all of this not because they're worried about process and integrity. They're worried about outcomes. And that's what this is all about. And so when you can't win elections, try to, try to select who gets to vote. It's an old practice and a reprehensible one. And that's why I feel like I'm in an Alice in Wonderland here, not addressing the real problem and manufacturing a problem that is designed to deny Americans their franchise especially in the District of Columbia. I yield back.